And the horses are making their way onto the track for the 125th running of the Moet Champagne Stakes. At a mile and a 16th, the first 400,000, and there is Ordway, trained by the Woody Stevens protege, David Donk. This is an $80,000 yearling who broke his maiden at Saratoga, then was second in the hopeful. The two horses, Bold Decor, technically still a maiden. He was disqualified from a mile and a 16th maiden win at Pimlico. Number three is Irish Silence, Leo O'Brien trainee, who comes off a nine-link maiden win for New York Breads, run here at Belmont Park. Four horse and another long shot is Mercer Mill. That is the powerful W.T. Young, Wayne Lucas combination here. Though the horse is a long shot and has only a maiden win, sixth in both the sapling and the hopeful. Lucas also trains Gold Tribute, the five horse owned by Bob Lewis. Still a maiden here, but second in his two career starts, most recently beaten ahead in the Del Mar Futurity. And a lot of the fans like Gold Tribute, though he is still a maiden, stakes place and beaten just ahead in the Del Mar Futurity. That's the six horse, say Florida Sandy, owned by Sandy Bacon. Winner of two in a row, two stakes for New York Freds, run at Finger Lakes in upstate New York. Seven horse is Trader. Alfred Gwynn Vanderbilt, famous for his innovative names. The cold is by Crypto Clearance and one who betrays a crypto clearance, a code clearance, is a traitor. Five and a half length winner of the mile futurity run here at Belmont. Number eight, Divine Insight, trained by Bond, James Bond, actually Harold James Bond, who would love to take this Ontario bread back to the Breeders' Cup in Toronto. Nine horses, just a cat, as Divine Insight goes on by in the Virginia Craft paste and colors. There is nine, just a cat, a maiden win in six starts, Trainer Jim Ryerson, you'll remember, had unbridled song in the Champagne last year, finished fourth, but then came back to win the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. Number 10, Nick Zito has two of the horses in the race. This is one of them, acceptable, owned by the Kinsman stable of George Steinbrenner. Is this an omen? The, uh, the Yankees just about to wrap it up. In fact, they have. The Yankees beat the Rangers 6-4 to four after losing the opener in that series, so it could be a big day for the boss, George Steinbrenner. The 11 horse is Shammy Davis, the other Zito horse, ridden by Mike Smith. This horse beat Trader at Saratoga, but then Trader turned the tables on him here in the Futurity. And completing the field, the 12 horse is Gunfight. A $135,000 yearling purchased by Mahmoud Fustak could give Pat Day his third win in this race. Gunfight, though, was shot down in the hopeful when he was beaten 11 lengths. So there's the field for the Champagne Stakes for two-year-olds, $400,000 purse, and run at a mile and a 16th. The Moet Champagne Stakes here at Four Belmont for Park. Run. Ready for the start. Old Tribute tossing his uh, head uh, a little anxiously in the starting gate. And they're off. Gold Tribute comes out running for the lead. Just a Cat is there on the far outside. Shammy Davis, Bold Decor is flashing early speed. Safe Florida Sandy's up close along with Mercer Mill. And Trader's right up there early. He's about three and a half lengths from the lead. On the far outside, Gunfight. Six wide moving down the back stretch. Ordway is moving quickly on the inside. And it's two lengths back to Acceptable. And now just in behind Trader. Then a break of four to Irish Silence. And another two and a half back to Divine Insight, who was the last of them all. A legitimate first quarter here, 23 seconds flat, and the leader is Bold Day Cor. But Gold Tribute is right there moving with them. Just a Cat is also up with the lead. Shammy Davis, four wide, gunfight five wide. Just in behind them, it's Ordway close to the pace six. Mercer Mill, Bailey has Trader on the outside as they round the far turn. The half went in 46 seconds flat, rounding the far turn. And it's just a cat with a short lead. Shammy Davis is right there with them. Gunfight on the outside. And Trader makes his move, and there he goes. But he'll take the overland route, and Gold Tribute will come up the rail. Three furlongs from the line, and the Moet Champagne, and just a cat, has a narrow lead. Gold Tribute has room on the inside. He's right there. Shammy Davis also with the pace. Trader is coming on the far outside. Ordway in behind the lead. The field turning for home. It's still just a cat. Trader on Parks his rally on the outside, and Gold Tribute is charging toward the rail. Ordway is following him. They're coming past the eighth hole. Gold Tribute and Trader going head to head. Ordway trying to split those two with a decisive push. Here comes Ordway bursting to the lead and he's going to win the champagne. Ordway pulling away when he John Velasquez and he's bumped up. He beat Trader this afternoon and finishing third was Gold Tribute. 
Ordway and John Velasquez. This got to be a sweet victory. He was riding Traitor last time out. He went with Ordway today, and he got the money. He did get the money indeed. Ordway, owned by William J. Punk Jr. and Philip DeLeo, trained by the Woody Stevens protege, David Donk, and as Tom Durkin said, booted home by John Velasquez. Now, this horse had been second in the hopeful, and then David Donk decided to bypass the futurity to get him ready for the Moet Champagne and for the Breeders' Cup, and did it pay off just when it appeared that Gold Tribute and Trader would duel to the wire, splitting them and moving through was Ordway and suddenly moves clear as Velasquez lets him feel the sting of the whip a couple times, then goes with the hand ride, and Ordway, a two-year-old son of Salt Lake, gets home for the victory. Here it is again, moving there between horses late. Ordway had the strongest finishing kick in this one-turn mile in a 16th race. Trader getting second and Gold Tribute third. So Greg McCarran right there with the winner. Congratulations, John. It looked like he didn't get a call till real late in the race. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, you know, post one, we got a little bit of traffic. You know, we got we caught over in traffic in the quarter pole. In the 316 pole, we got a lot of little room. We let him run, and he was running very good for me. And what do you think about the coming year? Uh, I think this is a very good horse, and I think we're going to get him in the first call. Terrific. Congratulations, John. Back to you, Tom. All right, Greg, we might want to see who he likes in the next race because John did a pretty good handicapping job, passed up the mount on Trader, whom he had ridden to victory in the Futurity, to ride Ordway in the Moet Champagne, and his judgment was right on. An unofficial order of finish, Ordway, Trader, and Gold Tribute in the Moet Champagne stage.